Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at the motor effect. Now in my video on magnetic fields I showed you that a magnet has a magnetic field and that we can create a magnetic field if we have an iron core, we wrap a wire around it and we um, pass a current through that. So a magnetic field plus a magnetic field is going to equal a force and luckily for us a force can equal movement. Now this concept of a force equaling movement can be quite tricky to understand. So what I have for you here is a magnet and I'm putting the same poles together and you can see that by just the two magnetic fields together are creating a movement. The textbooks are just on either side because the magnet kept flipping around and um, north and south kept connecting. Um, but hopefully you can see by that demonstration that I don't have to touch the furthest away magnet to actually make it move. You can see the same here where I have the magnet um, lying down and then I'm moving a smaller magnet over it and the smaller magnet is moving because of the interaction between the two magnetic fields. Now, if you want to create an electromagnet, we have to have a wire that is at 90 degrees to the magnetic field. If we have a situation where we have a, a circuit, a coil of a current running through a magnetic field, this will induce the motor effect. If we use the left-hand law, if you don't understand how to use this, go and check out my video on it, and we apply... Um, if we apply the current and magnetic field to look at the force, on this side the force is going to be acting downwards and on this side the force is going to be acting upwards. And this will actually cause a rotation of the um, circuit inside the magnetic field. Here is my very fancy um, demonstration electric um, motor effect to show you. So I have my magnet and when there's no current passing through it you can see that not a lot happens. Even if I turn on the current because the circuit isn't connected nothing happens. So if I put my very large magnet on top and then I turn on the power pack I just need to give it a little nudge and it will keep spinning continuously around. So a few final things that you need to know, you should know that the force can be increased if you increase the current or if you use a stronger magnet and the force depends on the angle between the magnetic field. It is going to be the largest or strongest when the magnetic field and the wire are perpendicular and it's going to be nothing when they are going in the same direction.